Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In particle physics, the baryon number is a strictly conserved additive quantum number of a system. It is defined as B equals 1, 3, NQ minus NQ, where NQ is the number of quarks and NQ is the number of antiquarks. Baryons, three quarks, have a baryon number of plus one. Mesons, one quark, one antiquark, have a baryon number of zero. And antibaryons, three antiquarks, have a baryon number of minus one. Exotic hadrons like pentaquarks, for quarks, one antiquark, and tetraquarks, two quarks, two antiquarks, are also classified as baryons and mesons depending on their baryon number. Baryon number versus quark number quarks carry not only electric charge, but also charges such as color charge and weak isospin. Because of a phenomenon known as color confinement, a hadron cannot have a net color charge. That is, the total color charge of a particle has to be zero, white. A quark can have one of three colors, dubbed red, green, and blue, while an antiquark may be either anti-red, anti-green, or anti-blue. For normal hadrons, a white color can thus be achieved in one of three ways, a quark of one color with an antiquark of the corresponding anticolor, giving a mesin with baryon number zero, three quarks of different colors, giving a baryon with baryon number plus one, three antiquarks of different anticolors, giving an antibaryon with baryon number minus one. The baryon number was defined long before the quark model was established, so rather than changing the definitions, particle physicists simply gave quarks one-third the baryon number. Nowadays, it might be more accurate to speak of the conservation of quark number. In theory, exotic hadrons can be formed by adding pairs of quarks and antiquarks, provided that each pair has a matching color slash anticolor. For example, a pentaquark for quarks one antiquark could have the individual quark colors, red, green, blue, blue, and anti-blue. In 2015, the LHCB collaboration at CERN reported results consistent with pentaquark states in the decay of bottom lambda baryons, lambda zero b. Particles not formed of quarks particles without any quarks have a baryon number of zero. Such particles are leptons, the electron, muon, ton, and their corresponding neutrinos vector bosons, the photon, w and z bosons, gluon scalar boson, the Higgs boson second order tensor boson, the hypothetical graviton conservation, the baryon number, is conserved in all the interactions of the standard model, with one possible exception. The conservation is due to U1, V global symmetry of the QCD. Lagrangian. Conserved means that the sum of the baryon number of all incoming particles is the same as the sum of the baryon numbers of all particles resulting from the reaction. The one exception is the hypothesized Adler Bell, jack of anomaly in electroweak interactions. However, sphalerons are not all that common and could occur at high energy and temperature levels and can explain electroweak baryogenesis and leptogenesis. Electroweak sphalerons can only change the baryon and or lepton number by three or multiples of three, collision of three baryons into three leptons slash any leptons and vice versa. No experimental evidence of sphalerons has yet been observed. The hypothetical concepts of grand unified theory, GUT, models, and supersymmetry. Allows for the changing of a baryon into leptons and antiquarks, CB minus L, thus violating the conservation of both baryon and lepton numbers. Proton decay would be an example of such a process taking place, but has never been observed. The conservation of baryon number is not consistent with the physics of black hole evaporation via Hawking radiation. It is expected in general that quantum gravitational effects violate the conservation of all charges associated to global symmetries. The violation of conservation of baryon number led John Archibald Wheeler to speculate on a principle of mutability for all physical properties.